to get Monday drunk. No, what is this, Mr. Sean? This is Marathon Brewing Company's 26.2 Brew, 4% alcohol. So I think you, what the idea with this is, you can drink a few of these before you run 26.2 miles. Oh. Because 4% Corey's not gonna mess you up too much. No, plus it's got sea salt added to it. Right, so. Gives you the sodium you need for a marathon. No, but yeah, no guys, in all seriousness, you know, when you're on like mile 21 and people are trying to hand you Gatorade, I like when people try to hand me a beer. Yup. Ready, set, chug. Dozens of the world's leading beer milers traveled to North London for the first ever intercontinental drinking race called the Beer Mile World Classic. Competitors have to drink one beer before running each of the four laps, totaling one mile. So today, I don't like this because it looks like U of M colors. It makes me want to throw up. Jesus. Yeah, well, uh... This is another Fuego Box video. If you haven't heard, Number Six with Cheese has a fun little partnership with Fuego Box going on right now. Dozens and dozens and dozens of you have signed up with our link. That helps us, that helps Fuego Box, that gets you guys the best aggregated hot sauce in the game. Uh, Fuegobox.com forward slash with cheese. Corey, 50% off their first box. What? A lot of these affiliate links like to do like, we'll give you five bucks off, we'll give you 15% off. Mm -hmm. Fuego went, nah dude, if you're number six with cheese fan, half off. Wow. So hit that after you watch this video, sign up, and what they basically do, Corey, is they aggregate the best hot sauces in the game and they send them directly to your door every month. This is a little three pack, that's what we're having today. So the first up today, what are we having? First up we have Truth Serum. Ooh. The truth hurts. From Lazy Y Ranch, Plum Loco, Chipotle Plum Sauce. That's a lot to take in. It's what, making my it? head go into a pretzel. Do you have any background with Truth Serum? Uh, I'm just honest all the time. Yeah. yeah. This is one of the most beautiful looking sauces we've had. It is. Plums, man. What's plum. your plum experience? I got no plum experience. No plum experience. Mmm. That's sweet. Mm-hmm. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's very interesting. Kind of like a candy hot sauce. It's very, very sugary. Are some of these hot sauces like, look, everybody's done every iteration of everything. I'm just gonna start using fruits that nobody uses. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find a bunch of plums and make a plum sauce, you know what I mean? It's not like people are calling for it, but they did a great job with it. Oh, very good. Really sugary. Very sugary, there's a time and place for that. I think people would kind of like that if they're looking for like a really sweet, Yeah. it's almost like a dessert sauce, it's crazy. It really is. Plum puree, cane sugar, I mean, yeah. Everything's sugary in there. And it's not hot at all. It's just Chipotle powder, so it's very tame. Yeah, I'm not getting any heat. They have it as a medium on their little scale. That's yeah. like 50% heat for them. No, it's silly. What's well, 0%? Just ketchup? Air. Taking a breath. What do we got second there, Sean? Second up, we got Bravado Spice Creamy Herb and Jalapeno. They give you these cards with all the info on it, which is kind of cool. This is a, Corey, two out of five. Okay. It's vegan and it's gluten free. This is pretty mild. Cheers. Cheers. Very fresh. Very fresh. That was the first thing that came to my mind. Wow. Olive oil, cilantro, mm. coming out right away. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. I didn't catch that until you said it, but mm -hmm. you're dead on. Wow, dude, the ingredients are so fun in this. Yeah, I'm actually getting a little more heat than, than I would expect for a mild. That's, that's a, I like where their mild is. I agree. For a two out of five for a company like that, I'm like, okay. That nailed You it. guys are very experts in this game. Yep. Jalapenos, red wine vinegar, olive oil, garlic, parsley, mm. cilantro, oregano. It's all, This is fantastic. That is fantastic. We've had some fantastic verde sauces on the show, and I feel like we keep upping it. Seriously. There's some in my fridge that I remember like you were saying, like, this is my favorite we've had. This is one of my favorites I've ever had. Yeah, so. that is like, but the that thickness, might be I love favorite. the thickness love the of thickness. it. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. You and me both, wow. man. Wow. That's really good. And way to nail those uh, flavors in there. I just love the olive. I love when olive oil is so oh. strong. Olive I love so a really good. like pungent olive oil. And vinegar or red wine vinegar mm -hmm. is the first ingredient. Yeah. And usually I'm not a big vinegar guy, but right. man, that really, really good. You can't really taste the vinegar because that olive oil feels and the cilantro is so overpowering. Great, great job. Yeah, you guys killed it. That's top notch. Mm -hmm. Good heat. All right, dramatic sound effect. And our third and final sauce, actually, our homeboy Patrick Welby 
producer on our podcast, great friend, manager, he loves yellow bird sauce. He sent us, I think the first photo he ever sent to us, he's like, you guys gotta get these. And we're like, bro. We've and we, we I was gonna say we've done Yellow Bird before, but this is their blue agave sriracha. We've never had a bottle this big. One of the things I love about Yellow Bird, they make the little like tiny bottle samplers where if you want to just try stuff, this is like the Big Daddy version of it. But we know how good this is, so kind of like finishing off today. Fuego having another incredible sauce to, to cap it off. This is a good hot sauce day. Fuego always knows how to do it right. Wow, I mean, good for them adding a plum sauce to the mix. Right, Cheers. taking some chances. Mm hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's that's really really good. Mm -hmm. Good heat, not too overpowering. Pretty like standard, like red jalapenos, like the blue agave nectar is like unique and cool. There's a uh, fruit in here, an orange fruit, not an orange, that pretty high up on the list. Can you guess it? Any orange fruits that come to mind for that? I can't think of any orange fruits other than orange. Tangerine. Mm. Got some tangerine in there. That heat's kicking in late for me. I know. This is what I love when we do these hot sauce videos. When we have like ones that we curate or like another random company sends them to us, we don't know what's gonna happen. Right. Fuego never misses the ball, dude. No, that's the best thing about Fuego. It's There's always never three done. great hot, never done. Even if it's a sauce that you like, a flavor profile that you're not really into or like, you can see they're like, like, oh, oh no someone wonder. Someone else, like if this is a, your fa flavor profile, you would love this. You if know? you're a hot head like us, like it's just, this is a great subscription service. Like we get so excited every single time those boxes are coming because you don't know what you're opening. It's completely random. If you have like, let's say you live with like boyfriend, girlfriend, a roommate where you're like, we both like hot sauces. That's just fun to open that and have your whole dinner kind of curated around that spice level. I love it. Dan Hunt, special man. He's the king of box. Before we pick our favorite sauce here today from Fuego Box, let's do some shirt shout outs. Let's do it. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. Boop. First up program, ladies and gentlemen. We've been saying it every Monday, pretty much every day of the week when we do shirt shout outs. If you buy more than one item in the store, we say your name faster. Today, it's no different. Bring it in, bring it in. Shirt shout out number one goes to Carly Lane. <laughs> Carly went to town over here. Carly got a sure I'll have a drink shirt, a koozie white, a sticker sheet, and a koozie blue, Damn. and Damn. sunglasses. <laughs> Drain the old checking account, huh? That's why Carly's our hero. Carly, thank you so much. And also, shirt shout out number two. Alana Packard Armendariz <laughs> from Bramerton, Washington. Alana got two pairs of Sunny G's. Alana, thank you so much. Dude, what a fun, one person just cleans it up, the other person has all the letters of the alphabet in their name. Right. That's cool, that's really cool. Number six cheese.com, buy yourself more than one item, you become a part of the First Up program, and you'll get your stuff quick, and we'll say your name fast. That's just the how best. It is. Yeah. All right, man, this is gonna be tough, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what, what I'm gonna pick, but Eric, our trusty drummer, drum roll please. On the count of three, pick your favorite sauce. There. All right, I'm in. One. Two, three. Got it. I knew you were gonna get it. I didn't feel like racing you today. That's fine. You're, you know. Crazy because this is honestly one of my favorite sauces we've really like done. And this just, when these Verde sauces, I love the fresh taste, but a lot of times it's so bland. It's like right. fresh, but like, I don't want, do I want to coat a bunch of chicken in it and have a thing and then it's just kind of like by the third or fourth piece, I'm like kind of over it. This, I'm like, let's explore a whole dish together. Really good, really yeah. good. And look at, we're both wearing green, this worked out. It right just right. makes sense. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show, a Tuesday, a traditional number six with cheese episode, the thing that we built this show on tomorrow. We'll see you then, and until then, I'm gonna go ahead and marathon and start drinking. Sure! I'll have a drink. <clears throat>